Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359, welcome back to Let's Play Sly 2, Band of Thieves. Last time, we collected all the remaining fine art that was left with inside the game, getting ourselves literally not a single step closer to 100%. Well, no, tell a lie, we ended up buying the other remaining moves that were inside the game from ThiefNet, which netted us a trophy for Murray getting the Diablo fire drop. But, in this episode, it's about time we get those remaining pesky bottles that are inside of the Arpeggio's blimp. So, we're going to be grabbing the bottles, but in order to grab them, we are going to need to do what we've been doing for quite a while now. That is, each time I end up finding one, I cut and we get to it. I know people do not like, some people will not like this. I know some people won't, but this saves on time. It really, really does. So, let us get rid of this guy right here. There he goes. And bottle number one. So, let's start. bottle number two but we got a guard guarding it you know these guards remain loyal to Arpeggio even though Arpeggio is dead that's two three four five five six sorry seven eight Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, this is amazing. He's stuck in a hit stun. 18 19 20 21 22 23 25 And let's grab number 26 25 I said 25 when I meant to say 24. Yes! 
Oh my god, this one took me ages to get up here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm doing this the hard way. You can use Bentley's jetpack or the turnbuckle jump to get this bottle specifically. It's on the guard tower right there, as we can see Clockless coming towards us. And this is a pain to get up here with Sly, so keep that in mind. It's a pain. It's very annoying. And that's bottle number 27. So, moving on. Really? Ah, dang it. To disable that engine room, you and I are going to have to work together. Happy to have you along, Bentley. What do you need me to do? Pickpocket the guard's keys to the engine room. Once you've got the door open, I'll take over. Okay, you should take your position. It's not going to take me long to lighten these guys of their keys. All right, 28. Now let's go get number 29. Which is down here. 29, which means I've got one bottle left in this big old place. Goody. And 30. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's all 30 bottles collected for here. And why don't we do that mission that I had to select earlier? Because, you know, it kind of sucks when a bottle's right on a clue. When a clue bottle's right where a mission needs to be. If I'm remembering correctly, we're going to have to go into the engine rooms in order to deal with uh, where the safe is. So we'll do the mission then we will end off the episode kind of a short one probably a short one I don't know entirely All right climb on up ignoring everyone else who are getting stones from somewhere I don't know where they're getting stones from but mission time Happy to have you along, Bentley. What do you need me to do? Pickpocket the guard's keys to the engine room. Once you've got the door open, I'll take over. Okay, you should take your position. It's not going to take me long to lighten these guys of their keys. It's going to take me longer to fix my hat. All right, so we've got five keys that we have to steal, all of which from guards all over Arpeggio's blimp. So let's start with this one right here, the one that's closest to the safe house. All right, that's one engine room key. There we go. Now let us grab the second engine room key from over this way. Whoa, that was close. I almost got caught by that guard again. That would have been bad, very bad. All right, let's see. Where are they? Got one on the lower deck, two on the lower deck. Looks like possibly three on the lower deck. Huh. Three on the lower deck. Yeah, one right there. And then we got one on the upper end over here. So we'll get the one from this guy over here. And we'll get that guy who seems to be... Uh, not really doing much, so it looks like we're going to need the alarm clock. There we go. That's two engine room keys. That's one to the silent beyond. There's Clockla. Looks like I'm gonna need the alarm clock. All right. Nice. Just ignore me. Oh my God! <laughs> 
killed by his own men. They knew that they couldn't have, that I couldn't have the keys. Oh, how fiendish. Wait a minute. Did it just take one of my keys away? You guys saw that, right? It took one of my keys away. What the diddly heck? Why did it take my keys away? Hey, my keys. Roxas loves keys. All right. Let's get this guard. One, two, three. So that's three engine room keys. And of course. Of course. Okay, take care of you. There we go. Takes care of you. But not of you. Silent Beyond. One, two, you have terrible peripheral vision, my friend. And now you die. Now you don't need to worry about that terrible peripheral vision you have. Okay, my head, my thing seems to be going weird. All right, now where's the last one? Over there. Oh, right, 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 right. Climb on up. And run after where the guard is. I completely forgot about the guard that's on this circular platform right here. All right, then we will be able to get into the engine room. Hopefully this is the right engine room that I'm thinking of that has the uh, safe in it. Because then we will have all the safes in the game. All right, one, two, three. That's all the engine room keys. Right, so he's over that way. There we go. Good thing I managed to catch this on time, otherwise we'd be waiting for a while. Come on, go up faster. Yeah, that should be good enough. All right, and... Okay, Bentley, you're on. In we go! Looks like this might not be the one with the safe inside it. I'm looking at these, uh, blueprints, and I think you've got to shoot out all the bolts with your dart gun to get up to the second level. Here's the hard part. Once you shoot a bolt, you'll need to then... If I miss, I get shot. When you shoot a bulb, you then take out the bulb the electricity is going to. Perfect. I'm just a marksman king! I am not a marksman king! There we go. Maybe I should have really listened to Murray before thinking I knew what I was doing. Because Roxas, let's be honest. You ain't got no idea what the hell you're doing. No, you don't. All right, and boop. There we go. Okay, pal. You're all set to 
Alright, level up! Going up. If I'm reading this right, it looks like you need to bomb those power nodes to get into the control room. Once that door is open, you'll be able to shut this engine down for good. Alright. So you just gotta bomb everything. It's just like that bridge back in India. Just gotta bomb it. There we go. Take it all the way, buddy. Put the override switch and this engine is toast. And there we go. That's one less engine for that creepy clock lock thing to draw power from. And there we go. Job completed. 90%, ladies and gentlemen. We're 90% done with this game. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This has been Roxas1359. Next time, we'll be doing more missions to make sure that Clockla doesn't get the power she needs. See you guys next time.